Hi, welcome to the Building Big Data Pipelines with Spark R, Power BI and MongoDB course. In this course, we will be creating a big data analytics solution using big data technologies for R. In our use case, we will be uh, working with raw earthquake data and we will be applying big data processing techniques to extract, transform and load uh, data into usable data sets. Once we have processed and cleaned the data, we will then use the data as a data source for building predictive analytics and visualizations, as you can see before you. So some of the tools that we will be using uh, to build our application is Spark R. So Spark R is an R package that provides a lightweight interface to use Apache Spark from R. So basically it's the um, Apache Spark engine that is used for R applications. So it allows you to use the R programming language to write Spark code. So Spark R provides a distributed data frame implementation that supports operations like selection, filtering, aggregations, etc. So it's similar to R data frames in how you use it, especially the DPLYR library. That is the standard uh, library that is used in the R language for manipulating data. But in this case, um, it's applied to large data sets. So Apache Spark is used to process uh, very large data sets. So that's big data. And we will be using Apache Spark from R using a library called Spark R. So Spark R also supports distributed machine learning using the Apache Spark MLlib library, which is what we will also be using. And then as a data storage and retrieval engine, we'll be using MongoDB. So MongoDB is a uh, document-oriented NoSQL database that is used for high-volume data storage. It stores data in a JSON-like format called documents, and it does not use uh, a row-column table structure. So everything is basically in, uh, stored in a document, which is similar to a JSON uh, file. So the document uh, model maps to objects in your application code, making the data easy to work with. So some of the things that you'll learn uh, during this course is you will learn how to create big data processing pipelines using R and MongoDB. You will learn machine learning with uh, geospatial data using Spark R and the MLlib library. You will learn uh, data analysis using Spark R and uh, Power BI. You will also learn how to manipulate, clean and transform data using uh, Spark data frames. You will uh, learn how to create a geo map in Power BI using the ArcGIS library. You will also um, learn how to create a entire dashboard using um, Power BI desktop. Okay, so basically we'll be combining a variety of techniques that we will use to create um, our dashboard. So right now you can see that we have uh, plotted the uh, predicted earthquakes for the year 2017. So we'll be training um, our predicted predictive model using um, data ranging from the year 1965 all the way up until the year 2016. So that will all be used as training data as well as um, data that we can use to analyze and uh, create visualizations. Okay, so as you can see, for example, I have um, hovered over a point which is dark green. So basically, the bigger the point, the more intense the earthquake. So we can see that we have predicted an earthquake magnitude of 5.96 in the Indonesia region. Okay, so 
yeah so um, some of the things that we'll be doing is um, analyzing the data set to get the different types of earthquakes so you have standard earthquakes you have nuclear explosions etc and then we also have um, the number of earthquakes for each year so we can clearly see that in the year 2011 according to our data set that was the year with the most amount of earthquakes okay and then we'll have the maximum and the average magnitude for of an earthquake for each year so this is basically the intensity of the earthquake okay so the maximum intensity of an earthquake for the year 1990 for instance is 7.6 and the average magnitude for um, the same year for all earthquakes is 5.86 for that year so you can see the average amount of earthquakes that occur is pretty uh, standard across the years but then you'll get um, years which have intense earthquakes right it's like magnitude 9.10 which is quite intense so we can see in the year 2011 we have the most intense earthquake as well as the, the most number of earthquakes that occurred as well so that was quite a rough year according to our data set so yeah we'll be taking raw data and doing a lot of uh, processing in order to get it into a format that we can use to create dashboards so again this uh, the dashboard is only a small piece of um, what we are trying to achieve the main um, the gist of the course is uh, big data processing Okay, so that um, using Spark R, doing machine learning, cleaning and transforming the data. So building um, the data pipeline, that is the main um, objective of the course. So building the dashboard only shows you what you can do once you have cleaned and transformed the data into a format that is useful. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you guys will enjoy this course. Um, and I hope you will learn a lot and be able to use um, some of the techniques that you learn and build uh, bigger and better applications. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in this course. Thank you.